So let's turn off the swing arm. This plate's gonna allow us to connect multiple engines you're gonna use. If you have no idea what engines you're gonna use, it's easier just to make a plate. It's a little bit more weight, but you can mount almost any engine to it. So let's go front plane, left click sketch, left click front plane. Instead of using the corner rectangle tool, let's use the line tool. And I'll show you why in just a second. Let's left click out here, left click here, go over almost an equal distance. It doesn't have to be exact yet. Left click and then let's connect these lines. This is gonna allow us to adjust the sides and make sure our dimensions are correct. The corner rectangle tool is a little bit more difficult to use based on what we need. So left click dimension tool, left click this edge, drag that out, let's go 12 inches. I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to scroll out so that we can see. Hold down the mouse wheel to center. Setting this line, I wanna center this up to the front plane just so that we have a center mark, another plane or line that we can make things equal distances. So let's left click here left click on this line, left click on that center line, drag it down, let's go 4.5, hit enter. And on this line, to this line, so again to that center line, we want another 4.5 inches. And that's gonna give us nine inches. So if we measure this out, it'll be at nine. That's going to become important when we put some of these bolt holes in to get them an equal distance apart and centered up inside that plate. So let's do the bolt holes that connect to the motor mount tubes first. Let's go left click sketch, left click front plane, left click center point circle. Let's drag these out. We'll put these in the edge. We'll get the measurements exact in just a second. Okay. Now let's go over to the dimension tool. Let's set these at 0 0.315 because this is going to be an M8 bolt, metric 8 bolt, 8 millimeters. All right. It's okay if that moved around. It's not a big deal because we're going to adjust it in just a second. So 0 0.315 and we'll do that for each one of these. 0 0.315 and the outer edge of that circle, or the center point circle, 0 0.315. So that's the diameter. So let's scroll in we're still on the dimension tool. I'm gonna to hold the mouse wheel down just to bring that down so we can see that top edge. Left click the center of that circle, left click on this edge, drag that out. We want this to be a half inch. And then we're gonna click on that again, but this time we'll click on this edge and we want that to be a half inch. All right, so let's change that to 0.5 here and then 0.5 from this edge. There we go. So we've got these set. Let's set these a half inch from this edge. Another half inch for this one. And we're gonna set the distance between these. Left click here, left click here, drag that out, and let's go eight and a half inches between those two. Go eight and a half inches here. If you had a lot of different measurements on the same screen, it gets really confusing. So we're gonna create another sketch for the engine bolt holes. Left click sketch, left click front plane, left click center point circle. Let's come up here to the center, let's come over. Let's place this, we're gonna do the measurements like we did before so it doesn't have to be exact right now. We will adjust these, but we want these somewhere in the center. They're gonna be the same size. We're gonna use that M8 bolt. Left click on the dimension tool. Let's click the 
the center by accident, so I'm going to hit Undo, Dimension Tool, click the outer edge, 0.315, again clicking the edge, 0.315. I'm going to zoom in so this is easier to see. 0 0.315. 0 0.315. So we've got our bolt holes set. Let's click on this one. This one needs to be 4 inches. All right, so we've got those. Now we just need to center these so up. They're an equal distance from the center line. So click on this. 1.575, click on the center of the circle, center of the plane, 1.575, I'm going to scroll in so we can see better, again center line, 1.575, click on that, find your center line, 1.575. All right, those should be equally distant. Let's move things around so it's easier to read. So everything looks fairly uniform. Those are the same distance apart. That up here. I'll bring this down here. Those are way too far apart. This can go up here. We'll bring this one way over here. I don't know how that got so far away. I'll just space them a little different so we can tell that they're... All right, so this is for the DLE 170. Very lightweight engine. This is really a lightweight frame. But we're going to have a bolting pattern for the Atom 80. We'll also have a bolting pattern for the Top 80. Very similar engines. The Atom 80 is the newer version of that. And then we'll have one for the Viterazzi 185. Even though that's a heavier engine, it should fit this And frame. we can do updates later on on the various bolting patterns for those other engines as we need. Let's close this out. Now we can and we'll click on extrude. Let's extrude the plate first. So that was sketch 21. And we're going to do solid new. Let's look to see how thick we want it to be. We don't want it to be one inch thick. I think it was about a half inch thick. I'm going to use something like one eighth inch plate or a quarter inch plate. You can resize that to the appropriate size. A plate will be way heavier. I know this looks like a plate, but what we're using, not honeycomb, but it's got hollow structures throughout, much like a football stadium bench has the high school benches so it's a hollow structure or it has a lot of hollow structure in it to lighten it up and that's what we're using so let's close that out we did our first extrude and that was for the plate now we're going to extrude these holes but instead of adding material we're going to be taking it away so let's go left click extrude left click sketch 22 let's go solid remove and we need those to be symmetric so that it'll go through the structure. We won't have to change the depth because this is only a half inch thick and it'll go through that structure no problem. So let's close that out. Let's go to left click extrude, left click 23. Instead of add, we're going remove. Let's make it symmetric. You notice that says part 11. That's what we want it to go through. Scroll down, right click, and let's go Edit appearance, let's go with that silver color because we're going to be using aluminum. Close that out, right click again, rename, and we'll go engine mount plate. That's all we're going to do for this video.